Is a $40 H&M jacket really any better than one from Walmart? Well, this giant hole in this Walmart jacket says, probably. Today in this video, I'm gonna compare this $40 H&M jacket to this under $20 Walmart jacket that I got and see if either one is actually worth any of your money. Now let's get into the mean potatoes. Now, $40 is actually a steal for H&M or almost any other popular brand, I would say, uh, Uniqlo or anything like that, especially with how much of a staple bombers are in style. They just have always been in style to me, and I don't think they're going anywhere anytime soon, so $40 is a great deal to me. Walmart jacket. The price, right, is $20. It's actually less than $20 uh, at the time when I bought it. I don't know how what it is set now, but less than $20, great price. Hey, that it has that going for it, you know, $20. Hey, did I mention $20 is $20. Copy it at Walmart right now, $20 is $20. Uh, as far as a bomber goes, there's not a whole bunch to it. Uh, is exactly what you expect. It's got a little bit of a shorter trim on the bottom. It doesn't have the arm zipper here, but it does have this this bad boy right here. I actually use these zippers. I put stuff in there all the time. Like, it's a pocket. I got tiny wrists, so these are a little bit big for a medium, I would think, uh, but fits, it fits good up here. So when I do roll it up and whatnot like this, it still looks fine. That's why I wear it like that, because my got tiny little wrists. I ain't gotta show off the watch, too. Okay, uh, it's it's still actually, it's not bad, actually. It's, it's a bomber, it's a bomber. Um, it's got this cool zipper on the arm. Cool zipper. I don't know why, but whenever I do this and zip it up, it starts making this weird, this weird, uh, this weird pouchy thing right here. And I actually think it's because of how the pockets are so close together and they don't sit on the outside of your hips a little bit more where they're actually stitched that so it, it it keeps doing that. I don't know. I know jackets do that, but this does it no matter what. Stripes around the wrist. I'm not a huge fan of, honestly. I think it just kind of makes it look a little childish almost. But I will say, the band, the elasticity on the wrist, not the elasticity itself, but the wrist size, it fits better on my wrist than the H and M jacket. So it has that. That's a thing, right? You know, it's got something. But I don't, I don't know what else. Speaking of the wrist, oh gosh. Ugh. Did I mention it was $20 though? I haven't even washed this thing yet. And it's got like all these little lint balls coming off of it. That ain't it, buddy. The material on this jacket is a po is polyester essentially, right? The lining is 100% polyester. And then the outside is actually a blend of polyamide and polyester. It's like a 60-40 or a 67-30 something, 33 or something like that. But it is a blend on the outside. The polyester on the inside feels good. It doesn't feel cheap. It feel, feels good on my skin, which is what's gonna matter the most, especially in the sleeve area. The zippers actually feel really sturdy, like they're really stout. The only thing I will say is I am starting to find a few loose threads on here. It hasn't washed out or it hasn't, nothing's happened to it yet. I've only had it for about two months, but in comparison to that Walmart jacket, well, oh, did I mention it was $20? Because this jacket won't let you forget that it's $20. There is stitching coming all off of this thing though. Like from the day I got it, it's just been that. This little, zipper pull on here they should have just forgot about it because it might as well be a piece of paper at this point it's just it's so bad but it's twenty dollars um there's some cotton stuff it's made out of 100 percent recyclable it's really thin as well this thin hoodie that i have on here is it's probably about the same like it, the jacket's not going to do much as far as heat it's nothing compared to the h m jacket the fit to my body is actually pretty nice. The only complaint again is, it's just like, and usually H&M stuff fits me almost spot on most of the time. I don't shop there all the time. I get some basics, some tees, maybe some jeans or something like that here and there, but that's it. The shoulders and where the stitching line actually lands right on my shoulders is, I mean, it, it really can't get much better than how these sit on my shoulders right now. I really love it. I will say that it, it does have that going for it. Yeah, I think it fits very well aside for 
whenever I do leave it out like this, you can see it looks a little bit baggy under the arms of whatever is left of the arms. It kind of flares out. Jackets do that, but this just feels like it does it a lot. And the arms, like this fits, but it's kind of baggy. I know they're not supposed to be like the super tight fitting thing, but as far as bomber jackets go, this thing, it's pretty baggy. Shoulders, that's one of the biggest things for me is the shoulders, because I feel like it, it kind of makes or breaks a jacket, a suit, sweater, hoodie, whatever. For what it is, that part's actually not that bad, honestly. That is something good I can say about this. So that's gonna be it for this one, guys. Thanks for joining in and watching till the end. If you made it this far, please like and subscribe to this video just so I can know that you guys wanna see more videos like this.